The most challenging aspect in sports psychology has to do with funding. That essentially for colleges and universities across the country, uh, there's a huge need for sports psychology. But not a lot of funding has been set aside for this. It's so cutting edge. Now, nearly every major university uh, would have somebody uh, they consult with, or maybe, maybe in some places even have somebody on staff. But a lot of the funding for sports psychology comes from grants or the generosity of some particular donors or uh, for a private practice coaching like I do with athletes across the country. A lot of that comes from those individuals that seem to be more affluent and can afford this. So what happens with sports psychology is a lot of individuals' time gets bought up by a, a professional team or organization or people with deeper pockets. That is so frustrating because the kids that need the help the most a lot of times are being ignored. And so I look at my own self and say, I grew up in the town of Phillipsburg, which is not an affluent area, but it has a strong passion for sports. And so who is able to serve those individuals? And all across the country, in the inner city of Baltimore, who can serve those people? We've got to find a way to get the same principles, the same sports psychology concept, and help those individuals improve their emotional health. And it's just so frustrating because there's not enough uh, people out there to serve and there's just not enough funding yet allocated to mental health and well-being in some of these underserved areas. And so it's very important to find a way. So one thing that we've done at Mind of the Athlete is we created a, a flash drive, a really cool flash drive, and it's got 10 hours of sports psychology content that we feel that every athlete needs to know and a school can purchase this and we gift this to some schools as well so that an athletic department can essentially have a sports psychology curriculum and it's, it's all packaged right there. People will put it on their computers and coaches will show it in locker rooms. And so we found a creative way to get the content uh, to more schools, more people. But that's literally just a drop in the bucket. We've got to get more people in there face to face. We've got to have more resources. How do we do that? That's the challenging part. That's the frustrating part, and that's where I believe that Mind of the Athlete is a very innovative, cutting-edge company because we're constantly trying to think outside the box and bring sports psychology to underserved areas.